Um, Gloria, let's start with you, and let's, let's stick with Stanley McChrystal for a moment. He yeah. has apologized for the comments that he made, uh, but that wasn't enough. He is, he's been asked to come back to Washington by the Secretary of Defense and by the President. We heard Robert Gibbs, the President's press secretary, saying uh, earlier in the White House briefing, the President is angry. Yeah, I mean, and, and the big question is, can the president let him get away with this? And uh, people I've been talking to this morning were sort of shrugging their shoulders and saying, how can the president let him get away with this? Look, this is a bad time for this to be happening, Allie. This is a very tough war. It's not a good time in the war. The president is committed to withdrawal of the troops by July 2011. And if he were to replace McChrystal, the question is, with whom? You know, and that's mm -hmm. something that the White House uh, is probably uh, trying to figure out right now. The, the other question is, you know, these are his top aides talking, right? They sound like a bunch of fraternity boys uh, talking about people like the vice president, Dick Holbrook, Ambassador Eikenberry, calling Jim Jones, national security advisor, a clown. I think the question is, were his top advisors parroting what General McChrystal really thinks himself? And if that's the case... How can he possibly serve? Well, let me ask you this. We're, we're, we don't live in a royalty. Uh, you know, it, it, how big a deal is this that maybe it's McChrystal, maybe it's his aides, they maybe don't like President Obama, and they maybe don't like the vice president, they maybe don't like Jim Jones, and they maybe don't like Richard Holbrook, Holbrook and maybe they don't like Carl Eikenberry. Uh, tell me why, how big a deal this is. First of all, remember, according to this article, uh, McChrystal voted for Obama, so it's not like he did not vote for him. Uh, but three critical words I think are so important here. Chain of command. And that is when you are a commanding officer, you are to respect the chain of command. And as the commander in chief, you are to respect the office of the president. Clearly, General McChrystal, as well as his senior aides, did not do that. You also have to ask the question, did he, did he give his top aides the leeway to make these comments, even though they right. were off the record or they, they were without attribution? It does attribution? sound to me like well, they gave I a lot of access to this journalist. Uh, and, right. and now that there's been a press aide fired for setting this up, apparently. Uh, I, right. I guess which what I'm is, trying to get back joke. down to is that is this a press gaffe? Is this a media relations no. gaffe? No, well, no, yes. no, 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 no. Well, this, is, this is gross. This is gross disrespect for the office of the president. You already have Congressman Jesse Jackson Jr. <laughs> saying he should be fired. Look, I think tomorrow, General McChrystal walks into the Oval Office or wherever they're meeting. He has a res letter of resignation. It will be up to the president to accept it or reject it. I think Look, he, will, he is not going to put the president in position to fire him. But I don't see how the president can allow a top what general think, to disrespect and him and his other officers. I just don't see it. And at the very least, this is a huge lack of judgment right. on McChrystal's part, on the part of his aides. And uh, Senator Levin, who's the chairman of the Armed Services Committee, told our Dan Abash that he worries whether this is going to have, in the long term, a negative effect on the implementation of the president's policy in Afghanistan. And that, as you heard his spokesman Robert Gibbs say today, is the most important thing. Will this undermine our policy in Afghanistan mm -hmm. because this man has been discredited and because mm -hmm. his relationship with the president is so frayed. Now, there are many, many layers to this. I want to get both Gloria, of your... how, how can on. you trust him, though? If you're the president, how can you trust the guy well, in that policy if he disrespects his, your entire team? Roland, I want you, you to know, hold, the president, hold your thought on that. The president likes the team of rivals idea, remember? But, I, you know, I'm I, reading between the lines with Gibbs, I don't think the president does.